Hi dear students, hope you all are doing well. Today we are going to study a new chapter named Princess September written by one of the most reputed and paid author, novelist, short story writer of 1930s named William Somerset Maugham. Most of his works, including the work that we are dealing today, revolves around the need of love and freedom. It might be because of the experiences that he had in his own life. He was an orphan when he reached the age of 10 and he was then grown up by his uncle. He has gone through many hazardous situations in his life and he has at the time of First World War, he was a volunteer in the Red Cross also. He has traveled all across the world including the Asian countries like Korea, Thailand, Cambodia and India. So let us get into the chapter. Princess September. When the chapter starts, we will be able to see nine daughters of the king of Siam. Siam is the present day Thailand. Okay. To resolve the confusion about the names of the nine daughters, the king and the queen decided to call them in chronological order from January to September. Usually in our birthday, we get gifts from all those loved ones around us. But the king of Siam had a peculiar habit that he gifted his daughters or anyone, any loved ones on his birthday. So on that birthday, the king of Siam gifted them a golden cage with a parrot in it. Every princess was happy and they keep the uh, cage and parrot in the personal room and started to tease them several words like pretty poly and God save the king. Parents of eight princesses excluding our princess September was able to say this above mentioned two words pretty poly and God save the king in seven oriental languages. Oriental languages means the languages of the east especially the Asian countries including our nation. And the name of that word is Occident. Occident means West, the European nations. But the parent of our Princess September suddenly died in that cage. And Princess September burst into grief and a lot of tears. She was really sad and everyone including the maid of honor, the king and queen tried to console her and saying that it's part of life, it's death is a part of life. But she was really sad because every other parent, excluding her, was speaking in seven languages and my parent suddenly passed away. When she went to the bed without even having supper, suddenly she heard a sweet melodious song from outside. She was really anxious. What, what am I hearing about? She saw a beautiful a small bird who was singing a song very melodiously so that she all the grief that she had in her heart was, was washed away. And after singing, the, the small bird said that I'm not pretty like your older parent that have passed away last day, but I will be able to sing all day long and entertain you with beautiful songs about the kingdom, about the lakes, about the willow trees, about the garden and so on and so on. And will you allow me to be your pet instead of that dying pet? The princess was really happy. She was blessed with a bird which can even sing a lot of songs when comparing to the other parents of her elder sisters who are only able to utter two words, my pet will be able to sing beautiful songs. So she was really happy and next day she showed that small bird to every 
elder sisters and also the king and queen and what the bird it was to everyone he met he sang a different song the king was really happy so did the queen too but the elder sisters who was really envious uh, was really pride on their parent who were able to speak two words was confronted by a small bird who is now able to keep us beautiful songs and they are really envious upon that small bird oh, suddenly a small bird came to remove all the reputation our parent have made before the king and the king also said that like the useless counselors i have here those parents are also only able to utter those two words god save the king and pretty poly and he was really angry by hearing all this thing the small bird was really happy there because he can roam all around the kingdom roam all around the palace the villa in, uh, inside the garden above the willow trees towards the lake and he can fly everywhere he want and he will be nurtured by the uh, princess like anything so he was really happy one day he asked the princess to go outside and when the all the elder princess excluding our princess september uh, came to the room of princess september they was they were not able to see the small bird there they were anxious and asked her where have the small bird gone and the princess september casually replied them Oh, he had gone just outside. They were really angry and also surprised by the casual reply of Princess September. They were even uh, daring to say uh, the Princess September that are you mad to let him go outside because he will be he will not come back. If he comes back as a pet, you should keep him in the cage itself in the that golden cage. is the best place to save him from any other mischievous things that goes around in the world and when the uh, eight sisters went back the princess september also got into a doubtful situation oh my goodness have any danger be occurred towards my small bird have any snare or any trap have caught that bird and have any hunter caught by a small bird she was really worried about the situation of the bird few days passed by the small bird came back small bird came back in a silent mode by slowly getting into the shoulder of the princess and giving a beautiful melody the princess was really happy and also anxious and he, she asked where have you been for these days the bird replied my father in law have thrown a party to all of us today even i was not able to come it's only because of the remembrance of you made me come back here suddenly the princess what did what the princess did was she took hold of him and put him into the cage and uh, the bird was really anxious and worried and asked what's all this talk about and the princess replied that it's not a joke because today the cats will be roaming around all around the palace today the cats who belongs to the queen will be roaming around and they can even catch you and this will be the perfect place for you to be safe there the night passed by uh, when the dawn came bird give a loud noise and says that let me out let me out i want to, before the mist and the dews went go away i want to gallop all around fly and enjoy the beauty of the nature but the princess never let him she said that you must not go anywhere you you this is the place where you must be long the bird was really sad what what are you saying why are you not allowing me to go outside he even tried to kick the uh, log and he even tried to bend in to, to uh, in between the cage between the lines of the cage 
and everything was futile. He was really sad. You, what are you doing to me? I want to go outside. But the princess replied that you need not to go. You just keep there. You just be there. That is the safest position that you must, you might ever have. The bird was really sad. Even if after getting so much plenty of food and water, he was not ready to take anything. He was lying down there for the whole day. By hearing the advice of the elder princesses, Princess September also thought that he will be getting acquaintance with the bird, the cage by uh, after a few days sitting there. The next day, Princess September was really happy to see the bird beside her bed, and he she suddenly, with all her happiness, came there and asked her him to sing songs but he was almost dead there she for the past few days when he was engaged by the princess september he doesn't sing sang even a single song she was really sad and she was really worried about the condition that he have been through she she even thought that the small bird have passed away she she suddenly opened the cage and picked our small bird in her hand and she was really sad by seeing the condition of the bird who was starving for past few days. She said to the bird that, Sorry dear bird, I won't do this heinous crime, heinous deed again and you can gallop or fly anywhere you want. The bird was really happy. The bird was really happy so that he get to realize that his freedom is here now. So he flew away all around and came back and said to the princess that whenever you need me, I will be here. Only if I am able to go all around the world, I whenever I will be able to fly and find new friends and new places, I will be happy. Then the sweet melodious melodies that utter from my throat is the result of the experiences that I have all around the world, all around through the journeys I have. In Mixed Endeavors, the bird came back and sing beautiful song towards the Princess September and Princess September comparing to the other princess was really happy by hearing the sweet melodies he gives her, he utters her, he sings towards her by every arrival. And the princess grew more beautiful day by day, while on the contrary, the other eight princesses grew ugly and they were married, the eight princesses were married towards the counsellors with only with a piece of sugar and with a Siamese cap. But our beautiful princess, September, was married towards the neighboring country king, the Cambodia king, while carried away by a white elephant. Irrespective of day and night, the princess, September, opened her window uh, towards the bird. And uh, whenever the bird feels inclined or love to come, towards the Princess September, he was always welcome. On the contrary, other eight sisters, other eight princesses never let their doors or windows open and they grew ugly while our Princess September grew beautiful. When we take this example to our life, if we doesn't allow our own home, window of our own home, doesn't open towards the nature, our room, our home will be emitting foul or stingent smell all around the day. But if we let the, our window open, that will be pleasant and happiness all around. And if we take into our own mind, if we let our mind and our soul open towards the nature, if we let love, freedom, and all those kind qualities 
come towards our life and if we are ready to accept all the kind things in our nature then we will be beautiful and we will be letting all the things that happens around in our life beautiful the story revolves around the value of love and freedom there is nothing better and valuable in our world like freedom hope you all have realized the essence of the chapter well after going through the video and reading the chapter thoroughly write the diary of our princess september who was in grief after the death of her parents thank you for watching have a good day